Hi guys, uh, I'm back with my uh, Pop Figure Collection Part 3. So let's get started. Uh, firstly, we've got um, the Terminator uh, Pop Figure. This one's um, from Terminator, Terminator Dark Fate. This is the uh, the Rev 9 Endoskeleton vinyl figure, not, not a bobblehead, just a normal vinyl figure. Um, it's from the obviously the latest film, which I did. I, I mean, a lot of people have negatively reviewed uh, the film but I, I really did enjoy it actually i think it's one of the best terminator films there's actually been apart probably from judgment day but this is a this is one of my one of my my favorite pop figures now because i just like the the detail involved is really nice as you can see you know so yeah just um tell me in the comments if this is a uh, you know one of your favorites and then next we've got a uh, Django Fett um, pop figure. This one's a special edition, as you can see. This one's uh, also a bobblehead. It's the gold, gold one. This is uh, actually, um, and I will say about a lot of my pop figures, you know, they're, they're my favourites, but this one is actually my absolute favourite. I say because I love Django Fett as a character, and I just think he's, you know, he's really cool. And I like Star Wars anyway. Um, so... You know, I just think the again the detail involved and the actual, you know, gold like colouring is really is really nice. Yeah, as you, as you can see, it comes with a stand as well. You can see that little stand inside. So that you know, it's just really really cool. And he's one of my favourite characters anyway in the Star Wars franchise. You know, I love the bounty hunters and uh, and other characters like that. But this one is really cool. You know, there's the, the effort put into these and fantastic and just um, you know. Again, tell me if Star Wars is your favourite film franchise in the comments below as well. Or which franchise you like. And then next you've got uh, the Venomized X-23 bobblehead figure. This is part of obviously the Marvel Venom collection. Um, this one's uh, obviously got part, part of this collection. So I've, I've already got Thanos. I've already got... Um, the X-23 and Rocket as well, which I uh, did in one of my previous videos. Um, this one, again, is a really, a really nice, cool-looking figure. Um, you know, as you can see, you've got the, the blades coming out of the hands as well there. Yeah, it's just a really, uh, really nice-looking figure. And then obviously, you've got the tongue, <laughs> classic Venom. Yeah, it's a um, really, really nice-looking figure. Oh, yeah, sorry, I never, uh, I never showed you. Oh, never showed you the back of this this one. Obviously, there's nothing on the back, but just thought I'd show you the back as well. And you got the endo skeleton. There's other. There's obviously other characters from the film as well, what you can collect. There's uh, Sarah Connor and the T800, which is obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. Um, yeah. And then you've got um, you got the odd job one from James Bond, Goldfinger. This one's obviously again exclusive, as you can see. Uh, this one's just normal vinyl figure, not a bobblehead. Um, and uh, and yeah, I really I, I really like James Bond. Anyway, it's a, a really cool film franchise, and obviously obviously British as well. And um, Goldfinger is one of my one of my favourite films in the James Bond franchise, and one of my favourite Sean Connery uh, Bond films. And uh, the de again, the de de the detail in every pop figure is fantastic. You know, obviously he's holding that bowler hat where he uh, where he uses to throw and everything. You know, it's really sharp. And then you got all the other figures. What you can collect? You got James Bond from Goldfinger in that classic like white suit. You got the Golden Girl, obviously from the one of the most classic scenes in film history and Bond history as well. You got a job from Goldfinger. Obviously he's got his hat on there, so you can. I think I don't know whether you can take his hat out of his hand. I don't know. I think you might you might be able to. And again, now it's fixated. Yeah. So I don't know why he's got his hat on in that picture. But that, unless it's a little error, I don't know. Or unless it's a secondary figure. Oh no, sorry, so sorry, it's a secondary figure. So you can get one with it with, with him holding his hat and one with his hat on as well. For some reason, I don't know why. But then you've got Blofeld, which is another one of my favourite characters from You Only Live Twice. James Bond from The Spoy Love Me, Roger Moore, my favourite James Bond. And you've got Jaws from The Spoy Love Me as well. Another, again, another classic character, but this one is a uh, really good. I think he's one of my favourite henchmen. Uh, our job, yeah, he's just a, a, again a classic movie character, and I really like the figure. 
And then next you've got um, Mr. Freeze from the Batman TV series, the original series of the, uh, the 1960s. Uh, this one's just a normal vinyl figure. And uh, obviously this is the classic Mr. Freeze like look and costume. You know, because the, the more uh, recent iterations, like Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in Batman and Robin in 1997 was uh, entire, you know, an entirely different costume to that. This is like the one played by um, George Sanders in the original series. He used to like wear that. Again, the detail, fantastic. Can't really, you can't really knock that at all. You know, and obviously you've got the other characters. Like the Riddler, Penguin, uh, Batgirl and King Tut as well. So these, uh, I've, I've also got King Tut already, so I'm just missing the other three. But again, they're all classic villains. Uh, I just wish King Tut was featured in a film. He's quite a, an underrated character, really. But, uh, but yeah, another another cool figure again. <laughs> then you've got uh, the Venomized Thanos, which is um, another one from that uh, the collection. Like I said before, I've already I'd already got this one. Uh, this one's a bobblehead, as you can see. You can see the head. You can see the head wobble wobble slightly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and these are just the uh, just the other ones you can collect as well. Like I showed you before. Again, the detail, fantastic. Really, really does look like Thanos. And again, Thanos is another one of my favourite, uh, like, you know, superhero kind of characters, even though he's a villain. Um, he's one of my favourite favorite characters anyway, and he's really, really cool. So, yeah, it's probably, again, another one of my favourite figures. And then you've got um, a little mini Captain America figure from the Avengers line. This one's uh, just one of the little, obviously the little mini ones. You've got the Iron Man and the Hulk as well. Um, yeah, again, details really, really cool. Obviously, he doesn't come with his shield or anything, but uh, it's just um, a really cool little bobblehead, bobblehead character. And uh, these are all the ones you can collect, obviously, with all the, the different odds underneath, like the odds of you getting them. Like Iron Man is 1 in 6, Captain America is 1 in 6. Uh, you've got like the more rarer ones, like Ant-Man, which is 1 in 36. You've got Thanos, 1 in 12, which is a little bit a little bit more, uh, um, you know, a little bit more easier to get. And then you've got the exclusives, which are uh, another version of Iron Man, which is 1 in 24. You've got a Rocket, 1 in 72, so it'd be very hard to get. And you've got one in seventy-two for uh, I think that's War Machine. So you've got uh, you've got one in seventy-two to collect of all those to collect those. So that you know those are uh, going to be quite difficult to collect. But apart from that, really, uh, really it's not a nice little you know uh, spin-off collection. And then you've got uh, the Balrog figure from Lord of the Rings. This one's obviously just a normal vinyl figure. As you can see the details really uh, really good on that as well. These are uh, these are the characters you can collect on these. Obviously you've got Gandalf, you've got Frodo Baggins, you've got uh, Samwise Gami, or Gamgee, sorry. You've got um, Nazgul, who looks really cool as well. And you've got um, Sar Sar Saruman as well. Well, Barog just looks the coolest. No, and I've never really been a, a much of a Lord of the Rings fan, but I do wear, uh, I do, I do like the, I do like the films. They're they're very good. Yeah, it's just a, another really cool character. This one's obviously a six-inch pop figure, as you can see, it's a lot bigger. Um, there is ones even bigger than this, um, but this is a, uh, this is just a really really cool pop figure. And obviously, you've got some bloody indentation on it as well. It's so when it got sent to me, you know, it gets damaged, it's trouble with these. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, a really, a really nice, really nice looking figure. And then you've got um, a little mini Star Wars uh, Ray figure. Another bobblehead, as you can see. Uh, the, head, uh, the head shake. <laughs> yeah, this one comes with a stand, which not obviously not all of them do. As you can see, Captain, Amer Captain America didn't, so... Um, and then you've got uh, just the just the box where it comes in as well. Yeah, these are all the ones you can collect. You got um, Kylo Ren, which is also one in twelve. You've got um, some of the other characters as well, but all of them are one in twelve. You've not really got you've got more of an even chance of getting all these characters. 
more so than any of the, the other lines. So, um, yeah, again, in, in another another cool character. And uh, like I said before, I really like Star Wars. So, yeah, this one's uh, obviously the detail again. Fantastic. Mm. And then you've got, lastly, but not least, Doctor Doom from Fantastic Four. He's a bobblehead. Um, now, the Fantastic Four films are a bit, you know, a bit mediocre, really, but, the uh, again, the graphics were quite good in them and the characters and everything, but, you know, there really was kind of underwhelming, really. Uh, they could have done, you know, they could have done miles better with those. But, again, um, a really cool-looking pop figure. That's like obviously his, his classic costume. I think he, I think it looked a bit different in the films. You know, they they use the same classic design, but um, I think it, there was some obviously some minor differences. Um, this is the uh, all the characters you can collect. You got Mister Fantastic, obviously Invisible Girl, Human Torch, the Thing, Silver Surfer, which he, he's, he's quite cool as well. You got Mole Man, which is obviously another underrated blood villain. Uh, you got Galactus, which I've already got as well. I'll show you that one in a, in another video, future video. And then you've got Scoop, Super Scroll as well, which is another uh, villain that hasn't really been uh, shown in the films either. So yeah, and uh, that's the uh, that's the final figure. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll um, see you in a future video.